Today we're revisiting a familiar series that we had previously explored, The Secrets of Montessori. Some of you may be familiar with these videos that we had been posting a while ago. And in these videos, we dive deep into the wisdom of Dr. Montessori that she shared with us. We hope to help you better understand Dr. Montessori's discoveries about the child, the, her philosophy, and in doing so, we will be able to help each and every child maximize their potential and be the best version of themselves. If you haven't already watched these videos, I'm going to link the playlist right here. And I do encourage you to go back and watch them. They are wonderful. They offer you great, great information and uh, lots of ideas on how you can help your child. Today's secret that we're going to be exploring is the development of will. Now I'm going to put some things forward here and I want to ask how many of you parents have experienced things like this? Your child just starts having tantrums over nothing, in, over things that they never used to get upset about. They refuse to do simple tasks which before they were very, very happy to do. Your child protests in ways and you just don't know what to do. Do any of the, these sound familiar to you? Now, I know this can be frustrating and challenging for us as parents, but according to Dr. Montessori, this is all part of the child's natural process of development. And she called this process the development of will. The behavior you're witnessing here is the first step in the development of will. So the first thing we need to do is understand what does will really mean? A lot of us when we hear the word will, it comes with a lot of negative connotations. He's a willful child, she's too strong-willed. But actually it's quite the opposite of that. Now by definition, will is a fixed and persistent intent or purpose. Let me put it a bit more simply for you, okay? So, will is the ability to manage yourself, to control your impulses, and ultimately gain the strength required to make good decisions in different kinds of circumstances. That sounds like something we want for our children, isn't it? Can I give you an example of how a child learns to exercise their will? So, a child comes into the classroom one morning, and when he woke up that morning, he's already decided I'm going to go to school and today I want to do the activity of pouring water using a funnel. So he's all excited and he gets to the shelf and when he gets there he sees that this material is just not there. He looks around and he sees someone else is doing this. Now when he hasn't developed a sense of will, he hasn't developed the ability to manage himself, he might throw a tantrum, he might get annoyed and just knock something over or go over and hit his friend and grab the material, that's when he hasn't developed the sense of will. But as time goes and he develops the sense of will, he will know that, okay, I need to wait my turn. Because in this classroom, the rule is that if somebody is using a piece of material, we wait till they are finished. And that's when he's managing himself and controlling those impulses of he's still upset, okay? He's still, you know, disappointed or whatever it is, but he knows how to control those impulses inside him and manage himself. I'm sure some of you may have heard of the marshmallow test that was conducted at Stanford University. Uh, I believe it was back in the 60s. Now, let me just, if you haven't watched it, do look at it, look up some videos on YouTube. It's pretty interesting, but I'm going to, um, you know, just put it in a nutshell for you. What they did is they gave a child a full bowl of marshmallows and the adult says to the child, you can have, there's two options here. You can either have one marshmallow right now or if you can wait for 10 minutes, I will give you the whole bowl of marshmallows to eat. And then the adult leaves the room. However, there's a camera on monitoring what the child would do. The aim of this was to see that they, they were testing delayed gratification, all right, to see if the child can wait and get a bigger prize than getting one now. Dr. Montessori would have said that this experiment was to teach children about developing will. The question to be answered is, can the child wait? 
can he exert his sense of will foregoing one candy, the instant gratification of one candy, and wait for the whole bowl. This is the way a Montessorian would look at it, right? Now, for the most part in this experiment, the children did wait. They fidgeted a lit little, they would touch the candy, they would contemplate, should I, shouldn't I? But in the end, they were able to wait for that amount of time to get the whole bowl of candy. They were able to exercise their sense of will and control their impulses. Now, these children were followed for the next 40 years to see what results would this delayed gratification or ability to, you know, manage their, their emotions, their impulses, what kind of an effect would it have in their lives? And what they found is that these children were able to achieve a lot of success in every area of their life. So this again shows us that the development of will is a very, very important thing that the children can develop in the early years. Now, the development of will is not an easy process. It's difficult for parents because it comes across as a challenge to our authority. He's not listening to me. He's not obeying me. He's not doing the things the way I want him to. And we step in and we start controlling the child. And we say things like, uh, you have to do this because I said so. No, this needs to be done my way. There's no other way to do this. And in that way, we're not allowing the will to develop. We're interfering with their natural process. And because of that, we cause impediments. And the children then again push back against us and they start to act up. Now, in order for children to be able to follow rules and obey us, they need to develop what we call willpower. Lots of people think of will and obedience as two sides of a coin, but actually they're not so opposite. They're actually quite similar. Now, all children are going to have impulses. We cannot stop that. All human beings have impulses. But what needs to happen is they need to develop a balance between their impulses and the ability to control them and manage them in different situations. And this will come through developing self-discipline. Self-discipline is when the child is able to control their imp impulses no matter how tempted they are to do something. Even if they really want that candy, they're just going to have to wait. They have to control themselves. They discipline themselves, right? Now, we'll be sharing more about self-discipline and obedience in the coming weeks. So please do stay tuned and hit the notifications button so you get a notification when that video is posted. As adults, we cannot control the development of will, we cannot management. It comes about naturally as the child has different experiences in the environment through movement, through freedom, through the ability to make choices. And the beautiful part is that the prepared environment is perfectly designed to support the development of will. Children have the freedom to move, they can make choices, they have to stick by their choices, there are rules that are laid down and they are guided how to follow them and how to abide by them. It just shows you how amazing Dr. Montessori is and how she designed an environment to support the very natural development of the child. Now, of course, a very important part of this whole, you know, picture is that Montessori guide who is so qualified and beautifully trained who knows exactly how to support the child and does not try and suppress the development of will, but rather encourages it and supports the child and works with him. So she doesn't see this as misbehavior, but she sees this as a way of the child developing. So if this is how school is taking care of the development of will, what can we do at home to support our child? Very simply, we can start by giving our child choices, giving them options, not just, you know, dictating to them what to do and offering them some opportunities that where they can make decisions. Don't go crazy and just, you know, say, what would you like to do today? What shall we eat? Make it simple. It's hard for them to make choices. So in the beginning, give them one or two options. Uh, you know, we're going to have a snack today. I have some bananas and I have some apples. Which one would you like? Uh, we're going out today. Would you like to wear uh, the blue jeans or would you like to wear your uh, brown shorts? Which shoes do you feel comfortable wearing today? Your sandals or your sneakers? 
make it simple for them and guide them uh, to be able to make good choices and stick with their choices. When we stand in the way of the development of this natural law, then what we see are children who are disorderly or disruptive. Some children go completely inward and they become fearful. They don't want to try things. But we can bring them out of this by giving them constructive work, helping them build concentration, and allowing them to make choices. You will see bit by bit they will come out of those behaviors. By supporting the development of will, what's happening is that we give the child an opportunity to learn how to make good choices and stick with them. And this will continue to serve them throughout their lives. Always remember that to you it might seem like a trivial tiny choice, but in the big picture, these tiny actions are leading to his personality growing into a person who can later make careful and wise decisions and choices. And isn't that what we all want for our children? I hope this secret has brought some wisdom to you and has given you some ideas on how to work with your child harmoniously. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button. We will be sharing more secrets with you in the weeks to come. So make sure that you're subscribed, your notifications are turned on so you don't miss a single one of our videos. We love your comments. We love your suggestions. Please keep them coming. We are working on putting together more videos for you, the ones that you've requested. And if there's anything you'd like to learn more about, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.